So uh, let's see who the, this caller is. Uh, Jane, right? Yes. Good morning. Hi. Um, this is the first time I've seen your show, and, and my question is this. I don't understand how a person gets to be an atheist. Um, all my life, you know, I've been taught that there's a God. I went to Sunday school, not all the time, but every now and then. And my folks, even though they didn't go to church, they taught me about God. Um, and, and I just don't understand how somebody doesn't have a belief. Um, how did it happen? I mean, I just don't understand how you can live without a belief. Okay, well, well uh, David looks... Everyone here began as a... We were all taught religion as children, weren't we? I don't know about you, Ray. Were you? All right, it sounds like you have up. Yes. Let's let's go to David here, and we'll start. We'll just go around here. Yes. Well, I was I was raised to be a religious fanatic, and I uh, I really was <laughs> <laughs> for several years. I was a very successful religious fanatic. Uh, and this is not what you're asking about, of course. I think you're just saying, uh, not uh, fanatic, fanaticism was not a part of it, but a person brought uh, brought up religious. Uh, I went for several years, 30 some odd years, before it ever occurred to me that there wasn't a God. The question in my mind was, how sure am I that I am in the right church, the true church, as opposed to somebody else down the street who was in another church? And I never questioned the idea that there was a God behind the universe. And uh, it was after I was married and had children before that idea ever occurred to me. And it was thanks to Madeleine O'Hare who talked about the God idea that brought it back one more step and said, you know, if you think about that. And uh, then I began to see that the God idea was a something that religious people depended on, promoted, but couldn't defend. There was no defense for it. Uh, that all these standard proofs of the existence of God failed. And the more I thought about it, the more I looked into it, uh, the clearer it came to me that religious people were based, professional, I'm talking about the clergy, were promoting a bogus worldview. Uh, that the, the well, it was it wasn't uh, you know it was, it was basically step by step. I just didn't become a believer one day, non-believer the next day. But more and more things became apparent to me that I wasn't in touch with the real world, and I better get myself that way for the sake of my family. Uh, well, not to cut you off because we have no. several callers here, yeah. but uh, we'll, we'll we'll get Harry's opinion here in a second. But let's.